I saw her just sitting down on the floor on the closet, and she was uh, crying, scared. And also tonight, a family now deals with the tough emotions after they say their teen was sexually assaulted while waiting for her school bus this morning. Our David McAnally talked with the victim's family tonight who says they now want to protect other young people. It happened very early morning. It was still a little bit dark. And now a family is coming to grips with this dark event, dealing with a teenager sexually assaulted in, of all places, outside the entry to a church. Here around 38th near Emerson early Friday morning, she was waiting for her school bus police, say 7 a.m. Oh my God, and what happened? Metro police say the 13-year-old girl told them a tall, thin stranger grabbed her and sexually assaulted her. He grabbed her from behind and put, like this, she said, and put the hand on her mouth and um, just dragged her to the back of the of the area. The victim's stepmother says the attacker forced her into a secluded area in front of a church and made her undress. She says he seemed prepared for the attack. Apparently this guy was, we can say, a professional because he was even wearing gloves and everything, so I'm assuming he's done it before. She says the suspect then stole her daughter's backpack, then dropped it a block away. Oh my God, that is sad. What happened? That is sad. These other moms now with something new to worry about. Oh my God, I told you to stay um, out here with them. In recent weeks, they've heard of other girls feeling threatened. And then a friend of mine actually told me that her, uh, her little cousin, she's 17, was at this library right here, and a man pulled up on her and tried to take her with him, but she got away. They're going to be watching the kids at the school bus stop, and the victim's stepmother says it's time to get the attacker off the street. I got more girls, and there's a lot of girls in this area, actually, and it would be really uh, a relief, you know, to be able to have that kind of peace in mind that he's not on the streets anymore hurting anybody else. The victim's stepmother says she's been worried about the streets around her neighborhood, she says, especially since she started tracking the number of sex offenders, which she says have increased in her neighborhood lately. Call Crime Stoppers if you have any information in this crime. Back to you.